welcome everybody to the Royal Botanical Gardens. And on behalf of CATH, I want to uh, tell you how happy we are to be presenting sponsor of Chocolates, the exhibition. From January 28th to April 15th, Royal Botanical Gardens is officially the unofficial chocolate headquarters of Burlington and Hamilton. And we welcome you to experience more than just chocolate's wonderful flavors, but to immerse yourself in a journey of history, science, education, cultural anthropology, economics, and conservation. To learn about horizontal trade and sustainable cacao, to bicycle grind their own, and to then indulge in an authentic Mexican hot chocolate. So it's an eco-tool that is part of our research project so that primary cacao producing communities can have all of the ecological tools necessary to power and produce their own foods and chocolates in locale. Looking around today, I can tell you there is no love more sincere than the love for chocolate. The chocolate exhibit is just one example of the many, many great attractions and activities happening across our wonderful farmers. Never has learning been so delicious. So this is our darkness. It has a much higher nutrient value. Things that make you feel good are good for your blood flow, good for treating things like depression, all sorts of beneficial compounds in chocolate. So chocolate is a medicine, not just candy. And that's what we're trying to explain to people here. When you come into the chocolate exhibit, you can do our scavenger hunt, the chocolate chase. Grab a trading sack, grab a pencil, grab a passport, and you're on your way. Let's go. Aztec people used cacao beans for trading. What could an Aztec buy with three cacao beans? Once you get all nine, you can come to the marketplace to trade it in, just like the Aztecs used to trade cacao beans. So we are making chocolate right now in the marketplace. So we've taken the bean, we've ground it down, we've put it through a blender so it becomes a liquid. And we put it, different ingredients into it, we mix things up, we add stuff to it, and eventually we get the chocolate bar that we eat, that we all know and love today. And we're just about to put it on a tray to make it solid, and then everybody's gonna be able to try homemade chocolate. From the bean to chocolate. Chocolate, the exhibit, is officially open.